Alright lads, welcome to Cape Colony, also known as South Africa, where we are going to be attempting to form the Union of South Africa. We can create it as Zupanisberg? Anyway, uh, what you'll notice if we look around the map is there are several uh, different little places, uh, like the Qajar Empire, Arabistan, uh, loads of areas around here, they're all autonomous regions and protectorates of the uh, the Ottoman Empire. The reason for that is we are playing a flavor mod. This is the historical flavor expansion mod. Uh, it adds a lot of uh, a lot of historical flavor, as it sort of says on the tin. In my opinion, one of the issues with a Victoria Three in its current state, which is natural for a new release, is the sort of lack of journal entries and that sort of stuff. So this mod should hopefully breathe some life into at least my games. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the journal entries now. The giant. The Great Trek. The Boers in our country are leaving to set up new colonies, which is historically what happened. And then the British would do horrific things to the Boers. So we have to wait for that to happen. And then, well, I think we could... If we have a GDP greater than or equal to 1 million, and we don't have autocracy enabled, then we become a dominion. And it proves our ability to self-govern to the British. We're going to be trying to go down that historical route. We may see where that path takes us. We may declare independence ourselves. But for now, we're going to be trying to play as a fledgling colony. And so that means building up our base resources because we are part of the British market. I need to set that up for him now because inevitably when we do leave, that will destroy us. We have quite a bit of gold. Can we get any more gold? Also, two of our states are not incorporated. So let's start incorporating those because we are going to need that money. Okay, so we've got gold here, fabric here, and grain here. So in terms of decrees, we're going to grab ourselves agricultural industry and resource in... Well, the gold province is probably the best. Damn, we really have no research done. We've got some military stuff done. A lot of society stuff. Okay, so we've got some. Damn, the entire tier one society tree is done. Okay, well, it's just... I'm going to go agriculture first. Because, again, I want to build up our resource industry before anything else. Unfortunately, being part of the British market, we can't determine what we have locally. I think that's a, uh, a bit of an issue. I would like to know what I'm producing domestically. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I can s kind of see through this GDP thing, but it's, it's rather tricky. Like, I know we're producing grain and fish, and we don't really have any wood or iron mines going. But it would be nice to be able to see that without having to, you know. Okay, we're going to start building up. All right, we're going to start building up our iron mines. We're also at war. I should probably, you know, do we have a Garrett? Like, I believe that we do. Wrathful as well, plus 10 offense and defense. Right. All right, let's mobilize you, and let's push you on this front. State, are we? Should check that we're a puppet. Are we able to pursue our own plays? No, so we do need to become a dominion first. I look very Arab. This is specifically for our overlord, because if we make peace here, then we will either, when, if we lose, we would get uh, humiliated or they get puppeted. So, that's the thing. Fortunately, they have very little tech. They literally have one gun between three men. I think we got this in the bag. Hopefully, we are able to get this done quickly. Oh, God. The front splits into two, which means technically... They are behind us, and they've occupied some of our lands. It would be interesting to play on the other side to see if we could win it. I feel like it would be incredibly tricky and luck-based, because you'd need a general that had, like, insane defense. I'm talking trench rat and store defender. That'd be incredibly tricky. Meanwhile, this is really tanking our economy. There we go. Okay, so they've been puppeted. We are losing money. And we make literally nothing. We're going to need to lower government wages. We've got consumption tax on grain? I don't know about that one. Oh, my God. This is a horrible economy. <laughs> oh, no. I can't get rid of it, otherwise we'll go bankrupt. Look. We're paying about a thousand to the Brits. Military wages, goods for military buildings. Okay, All right, I'm gonna have to switch out our barracks to. Oh my god, they already are fine infantry. Okay, irregular infantry. That's gonna declare East Africa as a the thing. All right, here we go. Let's have a look. Early settlers found in the community around the town of Zupansburg in the lands that have traditionally been inhabited by the. Full stop. This community has been growing to encompass most of the land bar beyond the Val River and has now declared itself between the sob and has now declared itself to be the sovereign Transvaal Republic. Ten percent of us will be assimilated. I think that's for them. Or long live it. Ooh, change players actively controlled co country from the Cape Colony to the South African Republic. I'm gonna do that. That sounds like more fun. <laughs> Just instantly switch the entire trajectory of this video. All right, let's get rid of whatever you were trying to do. Figure out what we have. Okay, the Transvaalian market. We have very little of any. We also very little demand of anything. What's our tech like? Please tell me we took South Africa's tech with us. We did. No, we did. Okay, good. Why are we researching a screw frigate? We don't have a port. Okay, we have iron, coal, and wood. Built on wood first. That'll be good for some steel. Agricultural-wise, we have cotton. Oh, God. We may have to go cash crops. 
This is gonna be tricky. Whoa! What the hell is this? Oh, of course, the new legitimacy mechanic. The game got an update. We can't enact laws. Okay, well, let's keep the landowners in charge for now. Right, what laws we have? Presidential Republic, we've got voting, which is good. Cooperative feudalism. Oh, federalism, not feudalism. Good job, Lee. Right. We have serfdom to abolish, but slave trade is legal. Religious schools. This is not a bad setup for a state. The consumption tax is wise. We can do one on liquor. That'll get us a bit more cash. Otherwise, it is just grain. So let's get agriculture industry going, promote national values. We'll also grab promote social mobility. Do we have any sort of military? We've got 12. Gaza and Pen and 15 versus our. There are quite a few African states around us. I'm tempted to just go after them, but I think we we'll lose. Well, that would give us a port. Okay, now we're going in for them because we need the port. Take the losses. No ability to import the goods we need. This is gonna be tricky. I can't have to build my own market. Okay. Because you can probably import guns. We're we're at, we're at risk here. I mean, do have eight. Do we have any commanders that are good? Offensive planner and wrathful. Isn't that the guy that we did we take him? Because he might make the difference. We'll get another construction set. Construction set. Construction center. Sector. Construction sector going. Jeez, what the hell is wrong with you? Okay, it looks like a construction sector needs iron and tools. No more logs. We're going to need two iron mines and a tooling workshop. We really don't have the ability to import from anyone. Oh my god. <laughs> We are an isolationist economy, but not by choice. As far as I'm aware, maybe we are. No, we want, we want mercantilism. We just can't, because there's no one that we can trade with. Any sort of laws that we can enact? The landowners want us to become a theocracy. I don't know about that one, chief. We also want a state religion. All right, the Conservative Party won 100% of the votes. So we now have a legitimate government. Uh, we're gonna have to chill on the construction side of things immediately after this tooling work is done to make sure we don't go bankrupt. But we should start developing things at that point. Can we even export anything? I don't think we can export anything. We can't import, we can't export, because the only markets we have access to are the markets around us. We need a port. For that, we're going to need to scrap with one of this lot. Having debt in this game is not nearly as bad as you think it is, for those of you watching at home. going to sit here and keep making money. I've removed our construction side, of our construction sector, so that will be fine. I've also raised our taxes. All right, so now the tooling industry is up and running, which will then... Okay, so what I just did there was the game told me I'd make a loss, but I'm betting that I won't because it means that iron can be pulled out of the ground and iron's actually used for something, whereas previously it wasn't. We can cre create more tools, which means that tools are cheaper, so then we can create more iron and, you know, pull out more wood is the next plan. So now I go over here to the rural side of things and I go to the logging camps and I use that, which means that tools are now a lot more valuable and the price of wood should go down. So basically, I've created a, a mild economy. I'm going to use those tools to create furniture. It's kind of hard when you don't have any sort of imports and exports. Uh, you know, you can play as like the isolationist Japanese, which is fine because you actually have resources and an economy. When you're playing like this, you have no GDP, no economy, no real like strength to speak of. So we basically need to have something that uses tools other than our uh, iron and wood industry. Because what will happen is tools will become cheaper which means you can produce more iron, meaning iron goes cheaper, meaning you can produce more tools, yada yada, which, you know, sounds great, but we're not scaling anything. So they're just balancing like this uh, as things become more expensive and cheaper. So that's why things are going up and down and up and down. It's just reacting to the market price. As one goes up, the other one goes down. It'd be great if I was actually, you know, using those things to construct things, but I am not. Eight of these guys, 10 and 15, because having a port would change everything. But the thing is, if you go into into debt, like if you default, if this red light and bar fills all the way up whilst you're at war, huge issues. Let's have a look at our government. Yeah, they're, they are marginalized, which isn't good. We want the armed forces to actually be available. Right now, it's just the rural folk and just the conservative party. Right, we're going to give this a shot. Now, inherently, defense is better than offense, but provided he's not pushing me back, there's every chance that we could get something done here. Because like I said, he's not pushing me back, so that's fine. We just need a couple of favorable battles. Oh god, his conscripts actually have like combat ability. What? Why do conscripts have guns? All right, we gotta keep slamming his uh, morale down. See, look, 10 versus five. It's just luck of the draw sometimes. And we'll see if we're able to nip past him. We are in fact able to do that. Hopefully we can get a similar thing. Nope, that's horrible. Because the thing is if our morale drops too far in comparison to his, oh god, he might push us back as you can tell here. So I'm gonna defend the front now. Now, will you drop below? I think they will. Okay, we just need to hold what we have now. I think we've won the war. He's going to try advancing the front. Yep. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Because we don't need to push into him to get 100% like that, you know? I'm actually going to focus on my society research. Get that uh, minting up. Get as many sources of cash as possible. Like, I'm not going to be able to patronize arts academies, lads. And again, all he needs is one decent battle as well. My guy's raffle giving us another little point, but it might not be enough. Here we go. Because if he takes his land back, then that will stop ticking up. There we go. Right, we're able to conquer the state. More importantly, we are able to now have a port and trade with the world. Let's get that going. 
All right, tricky so far. Loads of fabric, not enough grain. What buildings are there here? Logging camp, fishing wharf, also cash crops. Let's start using some harvesting tools. I don't actually have the ability to declare an interest, which means only people in this region that have an interest in this region I can trade with. I'm pretty sure there's no one. I'm gonna make a port regardless and see what we can do. Do a quick Moroccan GDP check. Two million. Damn, okay, they've done quite well. Ah, actually, the Tunisians have been catching up. Let's go. What else has been going on in the world? The Ottomans managed to keep hold of Tripolitani, which is something they lose early. They haven't managed to take back any of these states. Uh, the Russians, by the way, start with the Baltic states uh, under uh, puppet sort of relations versus anything else. And Peru, when they do that little union, splits into North and South Peru. There's also some more stuff like like loads more gel entries. Also, there's the Heavenly Kingdom uh, has actual things. And I mean, look over here. Right, we can export to the British now. Let's export to this lot. What else can we export? Sugar. You'll consume more grain, but you'll produce more fertilizer. I'm going to do that and then use that fertilizer to create more grain. Just a quick example. Something I haven't explained previously is like technology is super useful because there's stuff like that. All right, let's build a textile mill over here. Keep an eye on this, rather, on this uh, turmoil. People want racial segregation. Okay. <laughs> Stops the revolution. Apparently, we're moving towards a progressive state. <laughs> I don't know, something about South Africa enacting racial segregation. It's objectively better than the, what we had before, which was national supremacy, but still. Ah, oh, we've got racial segregation. Pretty sure that made my radicalization worse. Yeah, okay, GDP is at number 50 worldwide. What we can do about that? Fan of this turmoil. To be fair, uh, we are controlling a state that has 53% of our GDP and also most of our population. Rural folk are unhappy. I think I'm gonna do this, bring the rural folk into power and then start doing some stuff. Can't ban slavery. Could, who would who would be fine with me banning slavery? Petit bourgeoisie, they're all marginalized is the issue. Another 1.86 in unrealized taxes. That's such a good tool tip. There's been, I mean, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of really, really good stuff that's been added recently. But if you saw like there was a, an update and that's why things look slightly different. In fact, let me bring the change log on screen. The Earl Grey. So they rebalanced uh, legitimacy, there's authority bonuses. I'll, I'll let you read this if you need to pause it. But, mor but morale has been changed, which is really, really good because I was... God, I was waiting for that. Treatable is no longer function if the owner's power rank isn't greater than the market owner's. Damn. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, but it's also a lot of my janky uh, exploits that I've been using won't work anymore. That's a lot of content. My God. We have a lot of grain services, so we need tools. Okay, let's get the tools going. I'm going to get steel going soon. Oh, great. Poland now only requires five Polish states to form rather than seven. That'd been useful for my crack out video. My god! Major bug fixes. Well, we'll see. We will see. So basically, the game should be 100% fixed, and any bugs from now on are completely unforgivable. No. Okay, we have no coal. Do we have the ability to get coal? We do. Okay, let's get coal going then. And we'll start using it. Right, I think it's high time we upgrade our construction abilities. Otherwise, we're going to be left behind. We've dropped two places in the GDP world. All right, my general plan is to conquer these areas down here, this area up here, and then we can start maybe challenging Portugal. Otherwise, getting colonialism, I think. I want to start, like, because I've never really fully committed to the colonial game. I think this kind of stuff would be quite fun. Uh, as such, we should probably start looking at that. The evangelicals want to do it. We can bring them into government. The evangelicals want to do it. The armed forces, the rural folk will be radicalized by it. Well, good job, the radical, uh, the radical, the rural folk, or as I like to call them, the radical folk. Go. Now we have high legitimacy, we go over to colonial affairs, and we'll get colonial resettlement. That'll help us grow our economy. We're going to enact total separation. Uh, Transvaal would... would <laughs> my capital state would revolt. But you're a marginalized group. How are you doing this? Okay, if I cancel that, will you stop? You'll go up to 54, right? Right? This is where you should stop. Okay, good. So if I try and do it now... So we're 55% of the planning revolution, but it doesn't matter. Oh, cataclysm's there. Oh boy. Gold has been discovered. Excellent. <laughs> Suddenly things look a lot easier, lads. In Verstat. Where is Verstat? No. Oh my god. Five. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Oh, gold's been discovered in Transvaal. Excellent. It is about to get a lot easier for us. He just instantly built them as well. Colonial resettlement is morally correct. 75% chance or 60% chance. We'll go for the 75. All right, let's shift our construction sector into iron frame buildings. It can cost a lot. But we should, that actually should spike our iron mines into being profitable. So that should lower the cost of tools, which should in turn lower the cost over here. Hole will be done. I'm going to get another construction sector. Ooh. <laughs> so instead of the construction sector being over here, we're going to need to build it in our new state. And deck wise, let's go ahead and grab. Ah, we already have one sewerage. Oh, this is bad. Quite impressive that a third of our population are radicals. It just instantly created gold, it's gold fields. Love gold. Great. But it also means that we have no real uh, in like <laughs> infrastructure to support that kind of level. We also need iron. But I'm hoping by building coal, I'll get iron because I can get uh, atmospheric engines. Damn, this is hard. Okay. 
We have got the colonialism institution, which means that we can start establishing a colony over here. I'm going to drop taxes a little bit. Dude. <laughs> Oh my god, we're sitting on like a, a whole host of issues. Okay, so there's the coal mine done, right? Which should be unprofitable because no one's using it. Like, we don't use coal. Yes. Okay, so now what we do is we go over to the rural, we go over to the iron mines, and we do an atmospheric engine, which is going to demand a lot of coal. We need coal, which is despite the price of coal, which means coal is now going to be useful. But no one's being employed. We're just going to ignore that. All right, what's happening over here? We need wood, grain, and coal. Can I build coal here? I can. I don't know that we need coal anymore. That should... Do the iron mines pretty nicely. Let's see. Yeah, we shouldn't have an input shortage anymore. Revolution Brewing. I know. The market access. Yeah, I know. Um, well, yeah, I, I know. All right. Grain, clothes, furniture, wood. I'm going to get a glassworks going over here. The reason for that is then I can get some services going. I can switch off uh, all these this urban lot. I can switch it over to market squares. Actually, it might not be necessary. Services should kind of start to... I right, started colonizing over here. Okay, here's the thing. We're going to need infrastructure. We're not going to get it. I have a plan. We're going to need railways. I, I think we, we're going to build our economy from the wrong way around, which basically means I'm going to build the railway first when I discover it, which is now. Then I'm going to build the motor industries. And then I'm going to build the steel mills and go from like a top down approach. So I think anything else would disrupt the economy too much. <laughs> this is so hard. But at this point, what, 1850? I usually have like, we'll have triple my GDP. Okay, we've gone to 37. So we've done, we've done quite well. We're going to go for taxation capacity because that will help our bureaucracy situation when we expand. Okay, what I've been doing, and my master plan appears to be working in terms of the disruption to the economy being minimal. Uh, this lucky one wants your revolution, so I'm just going to enact state religion. Wait, what? I get miracle workers. 25% education access. Nice. Uh, what I can do is use this time. Oh, God, it's always a revolution. I get rid of it. And that makes restore colonial affairs extreme. And so I'm like, oh no, guys. Honestly, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It was a misclick. Ah. And then I go over here and then I enact something else like theocracy. Basically, you have a lot of conflicting interest groups and everyone is pretty radical. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I think I'm just going to not do anything. Well, on the bright side, we've sorted out our infrastructure situation. So that's that's good. All right, and here's a steel industry. Right, let's get you a railway. It's a very different game to uh, the games I've played previously. Oh my God, we've made people happy. I don't know what I did or why they're no longer insurrectionary. Yeah, railways seem to be stable now. So we're paying for them. Yeah, there's no sort of combination that I can do that will allow us to get rid of the Conservative Party, um, which is kind of what I want. Dirky Wessels, he keeps on just winning everything. Uh-oh. Oh, very stat. That's not our one. Jesus, that's good. Right, let's switch over to wooden buildings. Let's try and get some cash back. I honestly think conquering this lot would be a good idea. Hmm. I think so, just for the simple fact of their gold mine. Like I said, I did want to play like, oh, well, they're our brethren and this sort of stuff. But to be honest, it's gold. Right, now, government-wise, you are happy. We need you to be loyal. Then we get 15% offense, defense. Easiest way to do that. I'll give, oh, he only gives two now. They changed it. Damn it. Okay, I need to do something that's going to make them happy. What would make the armed forces happy? I can't enact anything that would make you happy. Damn it. The defense is high. How have you managed that? Why is your defense so high? Yo, oh, you switched out. Okay, that's... That's terrifying. Fortunately, the penalty is going to keep going up because they have, don't have the ability to, to create those guns. Okay. Well, I just didn't see what their construction lot they're up to. This, um, this is bad. We'll have to defend a couple of times first. They'll back us to have the advantage, but it's going to be a painful one. We just got to bleed their morale first. Thanks to the mo new morale changes, that should be fine. It's literally up to this guy. <laughs> He's an expert offensive planner. I wish he had some like decent defensive traits now. No! <laughs> keep defending, lads. Keep defending. And then we just need to push in one province. Nice. More gold. We need the gold throughput. Thank you very much. Okay, we have no coal, which is contributing to a lot of issues. Uh, yeah, coal's expensive, which is hurting our iron industry, our railways, because we don't really coal. Basically, we need more coal. Fortunately, we're getting more coal. Unfortunately, we have no peasants left in Transvaal. It was costing us nothing. We were paying the same thing either way. <laughs> Do not like that nine to eight, though. Jesus. He doesn't seem to be using his uh, troops that effectively, because he does have better troops than us. There's his line infantry a lot. Ooh. I think, did we win that? I think we lost it. All right, we're going to hold the front now. You want to just capitulate? Okay. Excellent. Now, that gives us access to the gold mines, which is what we kind of did this for. Oh, 71% turmoil. All right, no new parties. Finally, that's really useful. Oh, man, this has been tricky. Okay. Budgetary speaking, let's drop down you to minimal. Iron and glass. Now, there is a new election happening, which will help a lot because we currently have an illegitimate government, uh, <laughs> which means we can't enact laws. 
everyone hates us and we've got more radicals. Uh, I want to bring any of these guys in, but that would make it worse. Currently, this guy is the leader of our government and that therefore kicking out the conservatives would be bad for us. We need them to win the election to get in power, but no one's projected to get any votes. Uh, so I'm intrigued to see how this one's going to go. We want Liberal Party to have some sort of momentum. Lads, <laughs> someone vote for anyone. It's minus 100% for the Conservative Party. If they end up winning, it's rigged. Who won the vote? The election results are in. No one voted for anyone. No one voted for anyone. And I can't put these guys in because they're angry. And I can't enact any laws. Oh, no. Oh, this is horrible. My nation's in gridlock. I can't enact any laws because I'm illegitimate. And I can't put this lot in because they're angry at me. Okay, I need you to... I, I can't enact any laws. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. I'm in complete disarray. Okay, what what can I do to... I, I just need like another... I just need a little, little, little smidge. How can I get a smidge of, of... I need to game the system in full legitimacy. There you go. If I drop taxes, that'll increase my legitimacy just enough. I need to enact any law that you'd like. Charity hospitals. That means you like me, right? Nope, you're still unhappy. Okay, but you're not angry, so I can bring you in. There's our legitimacy. Up the tax a little bit. We're gonna need charity hospitals, despite the fact that's gonna kill our country in terms of bureaucratic shortfalls. I get linguistic freedom going. Building it's over here somewhere. Government administration, switch you out to standardized filing. Okay, I think that somewhat fixed our nation. You're missing glass, you're missing paper. And buy paper from the British. Dark vessels have got a new term because no one voted. Not a single vote was registered. That is, that's political apathy to the extreme, lads. Okay. So you're lacking glass, right? Let's get a glass thing going. Low market access over here. That makes sense. Let us grab a railway. Should help our engines industry. Oh, this has been a roller coaster. <laughs> I didn't spike the cost of transportation, did it? No. Okay, good. You're not profitable, so I need to actually make you profitable. How I do that is... Ah, I didn't actually mean to pass it. Uh, we can go to wooden... We can afford that. Okay, so we go to wooden passenger carriers. And then we switch over to our rural stuff. Make sure everything's on the correct thing here. Wait, do I not have... Did, did you deplete? Why can't I change the production method? I can over here. Then we're going to go to the iron mines. Start decreasing our reliance on slaves. Hopefully, which means you'll start making actual money and I can stop subsidizing you. This is such a difficult economy. Oh, please give me more throughput of coal and such, please. Pools are super expensive. Low government legitimacy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's not going to help things. Okay, what's the shortage? Uh, you also have an issue with infrastructure. So that means that this was a mistake. Let's do this. Cargo prioritization. Prioritization. Let's subsidize all of the railways because it was a mistake. No, well, this one's fine. Okay, that should help our economy a bit more. My God. Meanwhile, the North German Confederation has formed. The Ottomans haven't secured any of this area. Is, has Anisa always been there? Or has no one's managed to form Ethiopia? That's changed as well. Mexico's still holding off the US and in fact taking out um, Texas. Now, speaking of the best in our process, firstly, let's drop all of you down. Okay, we need more tools. Switch off the steel tool. And then we go over here and get more. That might hurt my iron, but it will give us more tools. We desperately need. That actually has worked really, really well. The profitable. Why are you losing employees? Even because there's not enough to go. No, you're you're the only. What? Why are you losing employees? Don't lose employees. Oh, it's people's in subsistence farms. Get more laborers. All right, everyone wants to ban slavery. Sounds good to me. All right, you now have infrastructure, so we can start building those gold mines. Are we going to have a heavy reliance on gold mines? Yes. Is that a problem? Maybe. Are we going to be rich? Uh, I will be. Standard living won't be. We need more bureaucracy because then I can use that to increase our colonial institutions and we can start actually doing some stuff. I think a lot of this stuff is going to be affected by malaria. Only a few of them aren't. Government legitimacy keeps on going down. Oh, that's not good. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Our gold mine's in trans... Oh, that's fine. We'll be okay. We just need more gold. Wait, it's going back up. Also... It's weird. The gold, there's gold mines, which are fine, but then we have gold fields. I don't know what the difference is. This just feels magical. The other ones, we actually have to have some sort of like input. Yeah, we don't have any dye, so we can't do anything like that. Mechanized looms we could do. Water tube boiler. Sure. Uh, we'll get mechanized workshops. We don't have any lead. We can't do anything like that. Water tube boiler. Tube boiler. 
Target squares, gas street lights, and personal transportation only. Tools, I'm assuming, are going to be very expensive. Yeah, they are. Okay. I'm going to build the gold mines first. We can export gold. Wow, we're number 28 worldwide now. What's the Portuguese? Wait, wait. It's Moroccan GDP check. Morocco. 2.74. Ah, oh, Tunis. Come on, man. Oh, dude, what the hell happened here? <laughs> what happened? The other one's seemingly chill with just dying. Dude, our literacy is actually pretty good. We need... Another, we need 16 for that and another 16 for that. So we need 32 bureaucracy. So let us work on that as well. The issue is everything is expensive in this nation. <laughs> Wood is expensive. Iron is expensive. Everything is expensive. Well, we freed the slaves and now they can hopefully pay taxes. <laughs> Alright, wood is expensive. We need clothes and tools. Okay, we're building two tool ones. Wood, coal. Okay, our revenue is increasing. Alright, well, let's chase those institutions. Build one here and we'll get those going first. We're going to need paper to support them. We're winning this election badly. Okay, finally, someone's going to get some votes. Because currently we have low logistics, like unacceptable, because we have the, only the Social Democrats in power, which is okay, but they're led by the landowners, which doesn't make any sense. The landowners have 7%. They run the Conservative Party, and that's not the majority that we need. Like, it's, it's just, it doesn't work. It's like having a weird hung parliament. All right, here we go, elections. The Democratic, Social Democratic Party won all of the votes with 26k, somehow beating out the 95% projection or I think we got rigged because somehow they won 2000% of the vote. So there's that. How has this guy got in charge? Christian party. What? How? Because so many radicals. <laughs> one in every two people doesn't want to be here. This is such a failed state. <laughs> Our economy's run off of gold and hope. Turns out hooking your economy onto gold, not the worst idea. Just a sheer quantity. We had uh, more, more gold mines be discovered. And so it just flooded <laughs> and increased. So we have gold fields over here after having them been depleted, which grants us another 13k a week. So now we're rich. <laughs> Did I do anything to directly influence it? No, no, I didn't. It's, it's just pure luck, boys. <laughs> and immediately it's gone. It halved. Oh, I need electricity as soon as possible. <laughs> All right, we're going to get key nine because that's going to give us another plus one max colonial affairs institution. I feel like that's how we that's how we win in Africa, by colonizing the natives. It's okay. It's fine. In the meantime, you're almost incorporated. God, that was a glorious moment when we were making money. Look at that. Look at that graph. <laughs> Look at that national income graph. We discovered it here, and then after about three weeks, it disappeared. All right, we go for multiculturalism, which I think is a good idea. The intelligentsia don't like that idea. That should hopefully get rid of some of our turmoil from, you know, being stamped on. It is discriminated. We, like, the only culture that isn't discriminated against is 17% of the population. I understand that's like a South African thing, but I, I don't know how stable that will be. And we've got the second most, even like the second most amount of political strength. How these guys are in government, I have no idea. Wait a second, we've got a boar in government. That's not even the biggest... <laughs> Wait, hang on, where are the boars? I think they're part of the boar trick, aren't they? Yeah. All right, I should double the speed of that. And we've got multiculturalism. Okay, you want to restore racial segregation. Boys, what is wrong with you? So who is currently radicalized? Intelligentsia, the rural folk, the petty bourgeoisie as well with them, but they're not that relevant. What can, what law could I enact that would pacify you? An, a national militia, would that... I would radicalize the armed forces. Protectionism would radicalize you. Okay, what if we did racial segregation, but it never passed? Preserve multiculturalism. I am trying to do everything at once. We can only have one revolution at the same time, which is, which is nice. So that's something. Do we need more coal? Our economy is going to crumble unless we get coal. I'm going to drop this revolution down to zero and then I'm going to placate one of them. If we placate the rural folk by doing something that they want, maybe we can get away with it. Because <laughs> I can't reenact racial segregation. I think it's a bad idea. The thing is, the rural folk aren't most of you. Most of you are the minority. They're voting to segregate themselves. You're voting to segregate yourselves. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> lads, what is wrong with you? <laughs> They are voting to be oppressed. They want to be racially oppressed. Why? God, that's the biggest case of like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. Just complete Stockholm syndrome. Okay, I'll go up to 91%. If we can do something that the intelligentsia like, you want cultural exclusion. What is wrong with you? Universal suffrage? Who wouldn't like that? The landowners. Public school system. I'm not doing right of assembly. <laughs> not doing it. We'll do universal suffrage. That should drop that down. It did not. No. There you go. All of our gold mines. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No! I can't restore. Just because the gold mines went. Okay, I'm gonna reload because if the gold mines don't go, 
then we then this doesn't happen because that made a lot of people unemployed and so they became unhappy you want what is wrong with you why do you want to press yourself yeah i don't like how it's flirting between extreme and, and very high oh boy uh i wasn't paying attention i think they just triggered a revolution uh and they've taken all of my gold mines with them oh no <laughs> They only have like two regiments though, so we we'll just stamp them We're quick. We need those gold mines back quickly. Lads, I don't care how you do it. Just get in there. You've begun embargo us. You are up. Okay, they have high defense. But there's only three divisions. Like, should be fine. No, not Dirky Wessels again. All right, we need the gold mines back. We need them quickly. Did they just change race. Oh, they changed back again. Oh, <laughs> can't believe you're you're fighting a war to restore racial segregation. My guy, are you okay? Jesus Christ. The Conservative Party won the election because all of the, the radicals, for the record, wanted segregation, despite the fact they're like, themselves would be the segregated party, it meant that no one could vote for the, the Liberal Party because the Liberal Party wanted to, to have seg segregation. Oh, what a mess. The nice thing is that the uh, turmoil seems to have gone. I think people are finally accepting, hmm, maybe we don't want to be oppressed. Most of our GDP comes from gold. How many tools and we need clothes. Right, I think it is time that we start creating a domestic arms industry. Because we're running out of population, which means we need to go and conquer others. What's the GDP of the Cape Colony? So how about the Moroccans? 3.4. Tunis? 2.5. They still haven't recovered to pre that pre drop the Jar Empire. I don't want to play as them next. Oh, revolutionary Sweden getting taken out by Sweden and Norway. The Confederate States of America. Hey, look at that. They actually, um, they did it according to their lines. Now's your time, Mexico. Just go for it. Looks like you kind of did. What? This is a ridiculously weak US. When they're a number seven great power, the GDP is only 5x hours. So the population of what? 9x. You can actually start colonizing some other areas. They do that. They're almost as powerful as we are. The construction center, 10 and 15. <laughs> Their barrier is actually better than ours. <laughs> 35 and 45. They'd kick our ass. If I was the Zulu right now, I'd be invading. I'm trying gun for universal suffrage. And now we switch over our army. It would be line infantry and mobile artillery, which would make you profitable. You have no hardwood. Uh, need some logging camps to switch over. You. If you're our smallest logging camp, you switch over to hardwood. Go. This is the number one arms industry in the world. What? It's the most productive in the world. Oh god, we born to be arms dealers. Is that our calling? Oh, we've got universal suffrage. Wonderful. And with that, let's see. They've got 98% projected votes. Are we actually going to get a Lesotho leader? Oh my god, we finally have one that matches it. Oh, finally. Oh, okay, right. Charles Chillers. He's loved. He's boar. He's an inspirational orator, a demagogue, an expert political orator. He's also reckless. We've got some aboriginal people coming in. That's, that's also fine. I've just got gold mines being built on the back burner. It's because they're always useful. The best standard of living is actually in this area, in this region. All right, we're in the top 20 of GDPs in the world. Let's see who we compare to. Brazil and the Netherlands. Population-wise, I think it's more fair to compare. Well, Brazil actually only has 6.54 mil. I thought they'd have a lot more than that, considering it's, you know, Brazil. Very surprised at that. We're closing in on the Shogunate. Are you still isolationist? You are. Okay. The French have the number one GDP as well as number one GDP per capita, they've left the British in the dust. A hundred million difference. All right, our barracks is 35 offense, 45 defense. Got our budget. Actually, I'm going to fully pay you. They want to join the Social Democrats. Uh, you are not allowed. All right, we need more population, and there's only one way that's going to be found. No one cares what happens over here. No one's supporting anything. It's just us. Uh, what I should probably do in preparation of this is expand our government administration. Oh, God, did our general die? He did. It's going to get at it. Uh, Surveyor, Aragon. I'm going to recruit and then fire him. Open terrain, Commander. Right, we've got double the troops. So we're going to just do the whole... Thanks to the morale being reworked, we can sit here and burn his morale. It does make defending... I think they made it trickier for smaller nations to survive. But we're bigger than the ones around us. So that kind of works. Not that it's mountains either. So if I were to recruit another general, what would it be? Yeah, yeah. Okay, one sec. Goes a lot better. There we go. Yeah, perfect. That morale loss is huge. And that should make it easier for the second time around. He's not going to recover all of his morale. We didn't get hurt that badly morale damage-wise. So we should just... Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's blundered as well. Perfect. What did you have going on here? You've got government administration and not much else. All right, I'm going to go conquer a bunch of territories around here. 338,000 people, 367,000 people. Wait, are you boar? All right, conquered Zululand. And now we're going to go after this lot. Ooh, Stellar Line is going to join as well. Okay, they abandoned their support. That's really useful because that would have been horrible for us. <laughs> it's a shame it takes us uh, 20 years to incorporate. Um, that 
comes from the fact that our homeland or you know their homelands have nothing in common with the cultures in South Africa Republic. I think that's a bit weird considering you know that we are multicultural. I think that should like if you're a multicultural society with universal suffrage, I think that that shouldn't be a thing just because it, it does make sense that we would be able to you know have that interaction with them where it is only five years. And they back down. Right, let's get a railway here and a railway here. Make a lot of money because in the meantime, I'm just building gold mines constantly. Uh, if we have another deficit or another event that pops up, our economy is going to go really, really poorly. But that's, that's fine. And I'm going to continue to conquer things around here. Rubber's been discovered. Wonderful. And we've got some rotor valve engines going. We can get electricity. Uh, do you want a steam donkey first? Yeah, let's go for a steam donkey first. Apparently, we do have... An issue with, um, get another one of them. Yeah, they'll back down unless someone lowers these tiny states. Look at them. Incorporate. Uh, let's start going off with the boars as well. Relations are too high. That's fine. We'll expel diplomats. Bad relations. Yep, perfect. Got enough. They should back down each time. Uh, we just got to make sure we don't become a pariah. There we go. They back down. Who else shares our rates? I think you do. Portugal isn't allied to anyone. I feel like that's quite a good thing for us to be able to to do here. Yeah. Just take out these lands. Because it's a split state, so we've already incorporated it. That'll be quite valuable for us. What do they have here? Dye plantations. Okay, that'd be huge for our economy. All right, they've backed down. We're incorporating it. Yeah, I think we're pushing against the Portuguese. Okay, war operations as well. We can't actually uh, take any other territory because we don't have any interest in this region. Which we can change. France is here. That's not good. I don't want Sarah to, to myself. Right, we're going to mobilize and advance on this one first. I hope they don't send troops. Get back down. Wonderful. And we already have this area incorporated. So that is very little skin off our back. And we get access to dive plantations. Very good. Now, okay. Firstly, we need to change all this stuff. Our millet farms need more fertilizer. Okay, that's actually a good thing for us. Uh, because it means that we have the ability to start getting a chemical plant industry. To incorporate you. You're already being incorporated. It'll take 20 years for you. You're a small state, but I'm going to give you a railway anyway. Okay, once the chemical plant is up and running, that should help things because then we can start making explosives later on. So that's a nice little introduction to that. Uh, and we want to switch our furniture stuff over to mechanized as well. Next time we can switch over to the dye ones. Okay, we're missing coal. Import some from the British and the French whilst we build our own. Damn, there are way fewer people in these states than I thought there'd be. <laughs> Severe malaria. Okay, we need to somehow get around that. I'm pretty sure there's a tech for it in the society tree. Removes all effects from malaria in your own colonies and states. Here's the civilizing mission. Malaria prevent prevention. Removes all effects of from severe malaria in your own colonies or states. Is this to do normal malaria? Yeah, okay. So it means severe, severe malaria. We need to get civilizing mission. We'll get the steam donkey first. But our borders look way nicer now. We need fertilizer and paper. 6% is not too bad. Cooling industry is going to be a tricky one. And we need sulfur as well. Get civilizing mission. I'll help with colonization. If we do that early, we can hopefully compete with the European powers. All right, sulfur. Do we have the ability to create sulfur? No, we're going to have to import it. That's unfortunate. Get it from the British and the French, which means we need to upgrade our port. Upgrade our port and also probably get some more construction centers. Yeah, I know you're all in turmoil. Oh, no, it's a shame and all. But I've got, like, quite a lot of police. So, should be fine on that front. Gold has been discovered in Northern Cape. Where's Northern? Oh, hello. <laughs> good things happen to good people, boys. This is a very different game to the one I'm used to. I like it. All right, the Liberal Party's back. Okay, now we just have a paper shortage. Now, uh, what's the election saying? It looks like, yeah, the Social Democrat Party's gonna sweep. Then again, we've had it before when no one votes, so who knows? I'm thinking something, you know? I'm thinking what's, what's limiting us right now? Uh, natural resources, right? So, why don't we open up the nation so we heavily invest in our ports and then we can export our goods and import a bunch of others and that'll increase tariffs if we switch our laws over to free trade but no one wants that well capitalism's decent now. you got the evangelicals the armed forces wants to join now what laws do i want to create oh it's weird it's the other way around i could go for proportional taxation which give us so much cash and a lot of people want it so let's do that we need stuff that's gonna stop uh steam donkeys let's get a bunch of those that's gonna hurt our coal industry we need to get more coal rubber's been discovered that's nice that'll be useful for elastics later on we got like a, a, a decent amount of natural resources oh. yeah <laughs> The so gold was uh, collapsed, but then also came back. Sulfur, you're lacking. Tools, you're lacking. Tools, what else is the tooling industry lacking? Coal, basically. Quite a resource industry. They're lacking engines. Here we go, 28%. The same thing twice. The same event immediately. 
Yeah, okay, our economy is kind of it like okay. This is this is how I know I'm like I'm, I'm slightly strange as an individual. Looking at all these like things makes me itchy. I don't know how to describe it, like like physically like I've got like an itch, right? Looking at all these input shortages, I absolutely despise it. I wait for all the people in the comments to diagnose you with something or other. God, that's common. I, okay, right. I'll I'll say I'll say this. It's it's kind of common. Um, I don't know how many other content creators will agree with me on this, but for me at least. If I say something or share something or do something, then you'll get quite a few comments explaining exactly how you're thinking and feeling, how that affects everything. For example, I said I was feeling like uh, a bit rough because I, I had sparring, right? Uh, boxing sparring. And I got a bunch of um, comments or even like messages to me saying, hey, that sounds like a textbook concussion. You should definitely get it checked out. It's like, it's, I do appreciate that people, people um, uh, you know, care about my health. It's actually, it's, it's actually really, really comforting to, to know. But there are some things where you're like, nah, I'm just not feeling great. So I'm kind of concerned that I've said this and people are like, yo, you're going to die in three days because of this obscure condition. Which I suppose on balance, I still would like to know about it just in case it is those things. <laughs> now that I think about it. As I've said before, having a bunch of strangers look out for your health so I don't need to, that's pretty good. And that's proportional taxation. Lovely. I need even more tools. He has a huge deficit of tools. And we also need more chemical plants. And we also need more of you. I'm going to subsidize this. Actually, I probably don't need another railway. If I subsidize it, then that should make that go down. Yeah, okay, we don't need another railway. So I think the game's running slower. I hate all these input shortages, come on. Okay, researching civilization, civilization? Civilizing mission gives us more ability to create colonies. I wanna see, that's uh, 100 days, right? I don't know, but I think if I were to do something like this, would that spread it out? Yeah, it spreads it out a lot. And it's not worth it because of all these like different thousand day things. So I'm gonna stop colonizing the provinces that have like thousands and only do the ones that have like hundreds. Later on, we'll do the thousands. I think that's a lot more efficient. Plus 10% minting. Well, considering minting is 50,000 uh, per week, uh, I, I will happily take another 10%. All right, I need more of a construction center. We can afford a bunch more. All right, what's the market saying? We need more iron, steel, iron, steel, paper, tools. All right, so uh, iron, steel. All right, South Madagascar, I need to build. I've got a construction center here, but I haven't got actually like a port. There's no point me colonizing this, even though it's like mostly done. If I do that, remove it. The other ones do like happen so much quicker. How has France done that? I think what how France and Britain expand is through a quirk of the game, which is I think they they trigger uprisings, which seems a bit cheap. But I think I think that's what happens. I think they treat they trigger uprisings. All right, how's our economy? It took a little bit of a dip during that whole shortage of tools thing. Meanwhile, the French got to 350 million. Jesus. I showed in my uh, in my France video how ridiculous France is. We've just overtaken Mexico. Uh, we're on par with Egypt now. Bavaria's like, got a hell of an economy. My God, have you done that? I want to see this. What what did you do? Oh, the game is dying. Doesn't want to show me its secrets. Uh, food industries. That's a smart move. We have sugar, so we can do that. And 29 universities. 29. That gives them plus 56 innovation. See, look, another uprising. So they're just, just going to take it. I think that's a bit broken, personally, but, you know, each their own. Loads more universities. Probably means we're going to need way more paper. Like, we've got high tensions with people, but they don't ever rise up against us. What do you have in your lands? Is it worth taking? Um, textile mill, manu furniture manufactory, some tea, some wheat. Probably worth it. And sulfur. We can get that from the Danes. Okay, well, in which case... We'll declare an interest in the, with the day. Oh, we can't. We only have one interest. Damn it. How can we get salt? Right, our innovation is going to increase, which is going to be very useful. Ooh, two million people. Please tell me you haven't actually increased anything to do with your army. Do you have any naval bases? Because if you do, we can't do this. You don't. Wonderful. Why is there not like a malaria thing? Do France has just managed to nab a bunch more people? All right, well, we might as well do the same, right? Our relations are too high. Oh, it's going to take way too long to expel the diplomats. Oh my god, he's back, not Charles Chillers. Was he always- No, he was always the trade union guy. I thought he was the uh, landowner's guy. Is the landowner's guy still alive? Yeah, there he is, Ducky Wessels. He's still he's still around. All right, let's conquer the state. He's not going to raid my convoy, so that's nice. And we're going to have much higher- He does have a lot of troops, and the way that morale's re been reworked, that's going to be a bit tricky. All right, universities are happening. Still need more fertilizer, so we need sulfur. Where can I get sulfur? Is there anything close by that has sulfur production? Bunch of stuff up here. Potential over here. This guy was built to fight. Piet Pretorius. I'm not a lie. There are a lot of people that uh, were like uh, similar to what I would uh, establish as Arab clothing. I feel like they, there needs to be more art for Madagascans, for example, and, and these sorts of areas. Because everyone in Africa basically looks like they come straight from Tunis, which is a bit strange, you know. 
considering they're animist and they've got nothing to do with the Arabs. I mean, tur turbans aren't like unique to Arabs, you know, a lot of people have turbans, but I don't know. I just feel like there should be some sort of uh, difference. I'm sure there's going to be mods for that. Weird that we capture provinces in defense sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and incorporate these areas. Well, one of them at least. The other one's still being colonized. Are there any ports? Okay, you do have some ports. Good. And there's some minting, which should increase our income substantially. Okay, let's go straight for electricity generation now. That will turbocharge our economy. Let's have a look now. GDP-wise, uh, we're around the size of the Osman Empire. Which is good. I create shipyards that would help with our infrastructure. So let's do that first. It's not something I usually do. Right now, ports don't provide any sort of infrastructure. It would provide infrastructure if I had like steamers. Yeah, we really need to start getting our import exports going. So I'm going to start focusing on building a bunch of convoys and then start selling our wares on the international market. If I go publicly traded, we're going to do it. We're going to get capitalists in. Because then they'll have the income to be able to support our construction. At least that's the idea. Whether or not that will actually work remains to be seen. A shipyard to create steamers. And then we shift our ports over to industrial ports. We have a 60 infrastructure and 3,200 convoys. Import some stuff now like coal. And we can export sugar, export fruit, export grain, export dyes, export tea, import iron, import, import tools. That would be more, more administration. Tell you how much you get in, in lost tax is nice. So when we are in 22,000, we, we can have extra, which will make us a profit. And hopefully get some goddamn sulfur. I might just gun for civil, like, like malaria prevention. That'll do me 33 months, 33 months, that sort of stuff, yada yada. But if we go straight forward, it'll take seven years. I'm going to incorporate this southern Madagascar as well. Does mean this colony's going real fast. We, re we are running out of places. Yeah, severe malaria. I think that's the only way we get ahead of everyone else here. Oh, the conservatives are back. Okay, you have a shortage of steamers. Oh no, you've got no peasants left. All right, well, we got nothing. Weird, we have a pop, we have the 22nd most populous and yet. Nowhere has anything. Well, Transvaal has stuff. All right, we need grain. It's going to be fixed by electricity. But I do have my economy set up for electricity. Zambezia is complete. Let's incorporate them. So now we might as well establish a colony around here. Although I can declare more interest. If I declare one like over here. Is there severe, like, severe malaria over here? No, just malaria. That's fine then. Yeah, these two have to go. This one's going to... Look at that, it's going to be lightning fast. Oh my god, I can build more gold mines. 62 of our national... I, I can sit here and say I fixed the economy and I built this economy from the ground up. I didn't. Uh, it was just the gold mines. Ooh, women in the workplace. That might help our population issues. And it's, you know, the right thing to do, yada yada. If we go for, like, women's suffrage... Let's do that. Plus 15% workforce ratio. Oh, yes, please. Dude, women are going from absolutely no rights to just immediate, like, next day, they get up in the morning and are allowed to vote. It's more than Switzerland did until, like, what, uh, 1970? We've got electrical generation. If I do capacitors, that's going to take nine years. But I can immediately start getting electricity. One, two, three, four. And we're going to get sawmills, electric sawmills. In fact, we're just immediately colonizing it. I think I've ever had women's suffrage in this game. <laughs> so that'd be nice. I enjoy the fact it's a pure economic decision. <laughs> like I'm not role role playing in some like magnanimous state or anything. It's just we need bodies on the factory floor. Don't care who they belong to. If we research malaria prevention, we triggle. We triggle. We trigger the scramble for Africa. Well, we we are also just African. It'd be really interesting to see how a state like this interacted with Europeans. Uh, obviously, we saw the Boer Republic in our timeline. Uh, and that didn't go so well because they just, well, I mean, they did well with what they were given, but they just didn't have the numbers and strength. Like here, a large economy, like the, the number 11th in the world, like legitimately a, a world power, you know, not the most relevant state, but certainly one that, that matters and is, is one of the best like colonial ones out there and can defend itself. So in terms of a scramble, scramble for Africa, obviously... It's not going to have the uh, the power of, for example, France with borders to be able to do anything with them. But they're enough to cause concern. Having said that, Egypt itself was a power in its own right. Wasn't an insignificant state, but still got, well, pretty much dominated by the Europeans. So actually, it might even go the way of Egypt. 
We discovered a bunch of rubber, which is going to be very useful in the future. All right, electricity generation has occurred, meaning that we can go over here down to our logging camps, wherever you are, switch over to electric sawmills. It is suffering from, let's see, that's because it's not being staffed fully right now. I'll build more if I need to, but no, I think we are fine on that front. Yeah. Sometimes in this game, you got to let things like actually move forward a little bit before reacting, because if I'd done it immediately, I'd be like, oh my God, but it's because it wasn't fully staffed. So now you'll see electricity come down to reasonable levels and we have a lot of wood. All right, wonderful. We have women's suffrage. It should hopefully create more workers. I think it did. Brilliant. Everything's actually progressing really nicely. <laughs> now what? <laughs> I suppose furniture and clothing. Everything else is seemingly good. Now, what we do need to do actually over here is get this state uh, a port or three. Otherwise, there's going to be no point building in it. It was access to 250,000 people, though. Should we nip in and try and take out the chain? <laughs> I think with the new, uh, like, I think, what, back pre the, the previous patch, I'd been able to do that. I think in this one, no goddamn way am I going to be able to nip in, take out the chain uh, with, with the morale work, how, with the morale working how it does now. Uh, you can see also lining up the gold mines. Let's get the women in the gold mines. Thank you very much. Best tax laws, multiculturalism. I haven't actually changed any of these. Tax collection. I don't want that. No one wants unitary. Hey, you know what I think we do with the excess money? I think we build universities. I have ports over here, but it's not doing anything. I'm gonna use the universities to test if I can actually get any sort of benefit from these. It's saying that I won't. You know what? I'm gonna gun straight for it. Five years, malaria prevention. Let's do it. I'm gonna trigger the scramble for Africa lads. <laughs> when was the scramble for Africa? I think it was 1880s. Yeah, 10% in 1870, increased almost 90% by 1914. Berlin Conference of 1884. Am I getting any benefit from this? How are the Bavarians doing? 29 universities. Moroccan GDP check, 4 million. Pfft, Morocco. Ah, oh, the Tunisians. 4.38, that's what we want to see, lads. Good job. Yeah, we're on top of all the minor powers. Now it's just a case of branching out into, well, we just need more prestige, uh, which we can get quite easily from having a decent army. As such, let's create a munitions plant in Transvaal. Or more chemical plants will probably be necessary. The great thing here, I need glass, oh God. You want me to enact agrarianism. You want to regress everything that we've been working for. Yeah, I don't, I'm not doing that. I think it's the last province. And then I can show you the beautiful thing about this state. Pretty sure when we incorporate it, it will be only two years because it's going to be basically ours. So when we go in and conquer this lot, it will be a already integrated state. I'm completely incorrect. That's fun. All right, where else can we establish a colony that doesn't have... Uh, Malaria. Uh, you already taken. Can't access you. Uh, maybe down here? Go and nick the Australians. There's only 23,000 people though, so. Eh, 153,000 here. I'll take that. Oh, we already have an interest because we have um, land there. Nice. I think that's legit. It is just Africa left. Okay. Right, let's make sure we've got interest declared there then. Back. Let's focus on our homelands versus this lot. Well, Jambi is not a decentralized state, it's an actual state. Okay, my bad. Try to colonize them. All right, only 34 months left because we have innovation 99. See, are we actually like shortening the gap? We are. That's so we're we're in the midway between the great power economies and our economies. The only great powers that have a bigger economy than us, or non-great powers, are the British Raj and the Great Ching. So we can take them out if we have 500 prestige. We can do that without having a bigger army as well. Make everything publicly traded. Oh no, Northern Borneo. Wait, I could have made gold there. Dude, there's gold literally everywhere. Right, we're going to fully decentralize everything. By that, I mean everything that we have is going to become publicly traded. Ooh, electric streetlights, let's do that. Which means we need electricity to date for that. Everything's going to be publicly traded. The market will decide everything, boys. I think every building that I can have as publicly traded is publicly traded. But to fulfill this, we need them to have cash reserves greater than 50%. And a work occupancy... Mm. Oh God, that's gonna be tricky. I have to make them profitable as well. Oh boys. Oh no. Uh, I, my economy, I'm switching it up uh, and it, it's it's uh, it's kind of stalled at the moment. Uh, it's in that like phase that's gonna take about two, three years to fix. Uh, just as I switch everything around to the more modern techniques, but I've joined the scramble for Africa. South Africa's, uh, <laughs> South Africa's, South African Republic's growing colonial empire in Africa, along with new means to prevent malaria, has made us a serious container for colonial control of the continent. When I say this constant, I see a raw, unworked material from which anything could be carved. But as often when working with rough materials, perhaps mishaps are inevitable. Oh God, something breaks, blood is spilled. SAR isn't so squeamish that we let a bit of blood get in the way of ambition, are we? Right, I'm trying to conquer this state because I need lead. I spent the last couple of years trying to shift our uh, building economy over to uh, the new one, which requires a lot of glass. Uh, and I've just shifted our military over to the munitions side of things. And I need lead. So anywhere that... that 
There was that. You threaten the French and, and uh, well, threaten the French on your side. Quite a useful thing. Uh, we've got ports here. Need more explosives. So the chemical plants hopefully will start doing their job. We're doing that thing again where we run out of people. And so pretty soon we're going to need to conquer others. This Barotse place uh, has lead or has at least the potential for lead. A lot of lead, but the French are probably going to get there first. As far as I can tell, no one else has the uh, the institutions that I do. No one else can really match uh, my colonial speed. I have max colonialism, which is great, but I can't actually access it because there's loads of nations I need to do in the, in the meantime. All right, I'm going to get loads of rubber and then we can switch our army over to having that stuff. I'm gonna start getting a bunch of arts academies. I want to start pushing for great power. I think that's that's my win condition, becoming a great power. Oil has been discovered in Gabon. Over here, yeah. The French have it. Ah, uh, what the hell is going on up there? Hudson Bay aristocratic revolt. Looks like the Confederate's still alive though. And Mexico really cleaned up over there. Doing Moroccan GDP check, 4.34 million. Ah, oh, the Tunisians at five. Now, what do I use it with? for? Uh, I get bicycle messengers. We have no input shortages. That's good to see. Time for me to do something that every power needs. Okay, we're the biggest minor power, close to becoming an, uh, an unrecognized regional power. British Congo. Ugh. Military now has 54 and 54. For someone like the Portuguese, uh, 54 and 60. Line infantry. Do we not have line infantry? We've got better than that. What skirmish infantry? Dude, why are our troops so bad? What, what? What is this? 55 and 60. We have bike messengers. The French have a liberal revolt. I do want to switch our naval bases over to ironclads, which means we're going to need to shift some shipyards over. We don't need that many steamers anyway. We need prestige for at least 420. And we are now a major power. We're overtaking the Egyptians. We just need someone to recognize us. It's the Spanish. We've got to go after the Spanish. Declaring an interest in Spain, Niger, and Senegal. Oh, damn it. They're part of the Zanj HQ. Why are you part of the Zanj HQ? I don't like the headquarters system. I, I really don't. Making 113,000. Yes, please. Easier to fight Russia. 35 and 45 versus 1560s. This is the Russians, weirdly enough. We're gonna have to fight the Russians. France is getting their asses kicked by this uprising. Oh my God, there's another one as well. Mashona succession. Ah, oh, no way. They actually pull this off. Go on, boys. They're all they're all rising up against the French. <laughs> Just seeing them. Go on. Go on, boys. I think the, the the thing is the reason they're winning is the French can't actually get troops to this land at all. They could land um troops here, but they can't actually protect this land at all. And yet they lost. I'm not sure how that happened. They're rinsing the French. I think now it's uh, it's going to be very tricky. On a previous patch, I'd, I think I'd smash Russia. No no questions. On this one, it's going to be hard because morale damage is a bit different. Having said that, I do have trench infantry. We're, we're just a great power. What happened? <laughs> what? Oh, Ching's no longer. What? Wait, why the? What? Why are we suddenly a great power? I mean, I've been building up my military and navy and stuff, but I. But we're just a great power now? Out of nowhere? Huh. <laughs> I've been building up for a massive war for like a, a climactic conclusion. <laughs> what? what? Are you telling me we've just done it? We've just achieved the aim of the video? Ignore difficult landing penalty. Yes, please. What new artillery and everything? Right, we're gonna need opium. Damn, in the meantime, our GDP per capita has actually jumped up to number two. Actually, a bigger power than Spain now. Uh, what's our, G our GDP? is about to take out the British Raj, which is bigger than Russia's. <laughs> These colonies take very little time now. Kind of want to get the Boers to go home. We're already a great power. We might as well, you know. Yeah, no point tangling with uh, with Russia and Spain. There's no, like, you know, narrative benefit from it. Which I feel like we could take them out. I mean, I've upgraded our army significantly. That's why we're a great power. Uh, we've also got the industry to support it, but it's 85 offense and 90 defense versus the uh, the Russian uh, 35 and 45. The Spaniards, I think, are a little bit better with 50 and 60, but it still doesn't match us. And like, it's not like there's uh, only a few of them now. We've got like 83. Plus, we've got this guy in charge. He's an offensive planner and expert defensive strategist. And then this dude is taking out uh, navies. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Technically, he has more flotillas than us, uh, but not because we don't have them, but because we can't staff our... Uh, a lot. Let me recruit another admiral. All right, let's do it. Why not? Diplomatic plays, conquer state. We're going after the Dutch boys. The Netherlands have declared us their rival. Gelre and Friesland. I want those two as well. I am almost certain that the European powers would be very upset about this. Apparently the Italians are going to join in. That's, that's fine. And what's our infamy? We're notorious. I don't want to do too much else. Too God damn. All right. And suddenly this is getting a bit interesting. With a hell of a lot of flotillas as well. This, this is, this is bad for us. No one wants to join in either. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what we can get done. Right. So first things first, naval invasion of Holland with four vessels. And then you lot are going to raid these convoys. But he's got so many. It's not like it's, um, you know, Hearts of Iron 4 where like navies combine. It'll just fight one of them. It's just begun mobilization. 
All right, lovely. Well, there's our navy. That's why you don't use wooden ships when you've got ironclads. Blitz that lot. The Italians are actually naval invading us as well down here. Fortunately, we've seen them all. Really not the time for a naval, uh, a, a little a little native uprising. Thank you very much. All right, looks like we're going to land, fortunately. I need to sort out my navies because he's just lost a battle there. And we've polished off the, uh, the Dutch. The issue is the Italians I can't touch at all. The defense is too high. I've, I've tried. How have you got 84 defense? You, it's a native uprising. His defense is one of the best in the world. It's better than the Russians, it's better than the Spanish. The game has really been slowing down for the last while. Why are there two fronts? All right, we're about to submit the Danes. Defeat the, da the, da the Danes, the Dutch. Let's zoom in. Is that quicker? Why is it not dropping any further? When the hell did that happen? What? what when did they get that back? All right, destroy the Dutch Navy again and land once again. There we go. I don't have any reason. I don't want to fight you anymore. So we have conquered these lands. It's gonna take five years to incorporate and a hell of a lot of uh, bureaucracy, but we did it. Filing cabinets, boys. Well, in any case, lads, I think that is where we'll leave it for today. We did what we set out to do. South Africa is, in fact, a great power. We're a colonial power as well. We're running around colonizing pretty much everything from like Southeast Asia to Madagascar to up here. Uh, we're part of the Scrum of Africa, and we've also conquered the Dutch territories, and now they are firmly in our control. I do hope you enjoyed that one, boys. Bit of a bit of a different one. And also let me know if you want me to keep uh, playing Victoria 3 with this mod, which I think adds a lot of flavor, or if you want me to return to base game uh, Victoria 3. I found that this mod makes the game run a lot slower. It could also be the new patch. I'm not too sure. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Whilst you're there, might as well subscribe. Just, might as well like the video, do all that sort of stuff. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's it's literally right there.